local restaurateur is suing his insurance company for the protection he paid for when this pandemic put his work on hold. He says COVID-19 should qualify for business interruption coverage, but his insurer seems to disagree. And now L.A. County could be stepping in to help him. NBC4 consumer investigator Randy Mack joins us now. And Randy, I remember you started reporting on business interruption insurance as soon as these stay-at-home orders began. And that's right. The business interruption clauses are pretty standard for most commercial business insurance policies. Now, our viewer says that his business has most certainly been interrupted. He believes that he is absolutely insured for that. And he says you don't have to believe him. You can believe L.A. County. Rebranding yourself takes money. Reconcepting takes money. Philip Franklin Lee is a competitive chef who's chopped competition on TV and owns four dine-in restaurants in L.A., Encino, and Montecito, all closed on state orders. Bills are piling up. His kitchen has never felt hotter. I came to my insurance and said, I've been shut down. I pay for business interruption. My business has been interrupted. Where's my relief? Business interruption clauses are standard in commercial business policies. Claims usually occur in natural disasters like wildfires or when mechanical and structural problems shut down a business. Consumer attorney Brian Kabatek. The whole idea is the business owner doesn't go further in the hole when something comes along that isn't their fault like this. Cabotec says insurers are dismissing claims based on language that excludes viruses like COVID-19 as a cause of business interruption and that government closures don't damage businesses. People are making their claims. They're getting denied on the telephone. Cabotec is representing Lee, taking the conversation to court, suing Farmers Insurance for denying Lee's claim for business interruption. Part of the basis for the suit is a recently adopted resolution by Los Angeles County, which acknowledges that closure orders were necessary for health and safety and that the physical loss of and damage to businesses is resulting from the shutdown. Businesses have lost the use of their property and are not functioning as intended. Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara issued a notice requiring insurers to fairly investigate claims of business interruption. The I-Team asked Farmers Insurance about Lee's lawsuit. The insurer tells the I-Team it doesn't comment on pending litigation. Last month, the American Property Casualty Insurance Association, which represents insurers, released a statement regarding business interruption claims due to COVID-19. It says in part, if policymakers force insurers to pay for losses that are not covered under existing insurance policies, the stability of the sector could be impacted. For insurance companies, COVID-19 related claims is a recipe for financial disaster. Chef Lee says he understands insurers don't want to eat a loss, but denying his claim his businesses have been interrupted is just hard to swallow. I don't think that insurance maybe wasn't ready for it, but that's not really my problem. I paid my premium. My business was interrupted. The government came in and said, you can't work. I was right. Now, if you are a business owner out there and your business has been shut down due to COVID-19, you want to check the declarations in your insurance policy. See if any of them actually fit. Have it reviewed by your agent or maybe even an attorney, but you do want to file a claim because you paid for coverage for business interruption insurance. You should have your insurer force them to actually have to investigate your claim. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Randy Mack for NBC4. Carolyn, back to you. All right.